got my cup of tea ready for this video. Ooh, it's a little bit hot. We'll pop it down here for a minute. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today video is my first Friday Sews video, which is really exciting. Um, I've been following this hashtag um, on YouTube and on Facebook groups and stuff and on social media. So, and I saw for today's video was the get to know me 10 sewing questions. So I thought this is perfect for my first sewing, sews, Friday Sews video, sorry. Um, yeah, so let's give it a go. I've got my I got my ginger tea here and my 10 questions. So um yeah, let's start. Nice. Okay, so I've got all my questions written down because there's 10 of them and I forgot what they would be. So let's start with question one. Uh quick well, question one and two together, shall we? Um where am I from and what is my name? So, um, my name is Holly um, and I'm from England, London and I am a sewing Instagrammer and YouTuber now and I also have a sewing blog. The question number three is how long have you been sewing for? So I was trying to work this out when I was setting up my camera and tripod and I started sewing, well I started to learn to sew my first sewing project was around when I was 22, 23. I'm now 31, so around nine, eight years, eight, eight to nine years I've been sewing for. Okay, so question number four. Um, what is your machine? Now, my machine is over there on my sewing table. Well, my it's not my sewing table at the minute, it's my dining room table. So let me go and get it. I thought it would be easier to bring it in. Otherwise, I wouldn't remember what it is. Okay, so here it is. Let me lift it up. I've only got the one domestic sewing machine, and it is the Brother FS130QC. That's oh, put it down. That's what um, I use, um, and I've been using this machine for about four years. I bought it when I moved house into this house because I wasn't using my mum's sewing machine anymore. Um, and she had a Janome. Um, I prefer a Janome over a brother. Um, I'm not really the biggest fan of that machine. Um, I'm probably, I'm gonna be looking into getting a new one, I think. But that is what I'm sewing with at the minute. I don't have any surges or overlockers or anything like that. I just use my machine. So we're on question five, question five. Question five is, are you self-taught or have formal classes? Well, let me get my cup of tea for this one. Um, I started when I was 22, 23, as I said, um, I was self-taught and a home sewer. My mum helped me because she sewed before. Um, she helped me learn all the basics. I did everything at home from um, kind of, I got one pattern and just sort of learned the skills on that pattern. And um, yeah, I just researched everything. I did home sewing. Um, I would books, YouTube videos, blogs, tutorials, that sort of thing. And then when I was 27, um, I wanted my sort of um, my career or my job to be in anything to do with sewing or fashion or anything like that. So I wanted to have more formal training in pattern cutting was my kind of drive to go and to do my degree. Um, so I decided to enroll on a do a fashion degree, which where I learned pattern cutting, more sewing skills and everything like that. So I've just graduated. So now I'm a bit of both. I was the first, I was a self taught like taught myself home sewer at home. And I've also had some formal sewing training as well with pattern cutting or a lot because the fashion design degree is just all sewing really. Yeah. And number six is Oh, knits or woven fabric. So basically asking what your favourite fabric is. Um, my favourite fabrics to work with is anything I like working with silks, crepes, cottons, anything light, viscose, linens, that sort of thing. I really like natural fabrics. I don't really like um, synthetic fabrics, me personally wearing them. I don't mind working with them, but I, if I'm going to make a garment for myself, I prefer natural fabrics. Um, but I love to make gowns, dresses, flowy, anything drapey. Um, so for those sort of garments, 
I lean towards those light fabrics like I just mentioned. Um, I haven't made much at anything really out of stretch fabrics, any jerseys, anything like that or knits, I don't think. Um, but yeah, so that is my fabric of choice is a crepe, silk, visco or linen. Question is big four or indie pattern. So it's asking about what patterns you like to use. Now I don't actually use many patterns. I think I probably only sewn maybe three or four patterns over the last nine years. Um, yeah, I think I probably, maybe maybe five. Maybe five, let's go for five. And um, that's more because I personally like to draft my own patterns and drape on the stand. Um, yeah, so I've actually got quite a few patterns. I've always bought patterns, but I've never really come around to sewing them that much. Um, yeah, so I look at all these patterns online. I always love the look of Tilly and the Buttons designs, always look lovely. So if I was starting again, like a home sewer starting again, I would definitely would be drawn to Tilly and Buttons because they're just more modern patterns, designs, and I, they look really lovely. Um, so over it patterns look lovely, but I think I remember I did was going to buy some sew over it patterns, but they didn't go down low enough to my size. Like the size eight was going to be too big for me, so I thought I could just draft something myself. So yeah, it's mainly why I don't use big pattern companies patterns really because I just like to self draft. And now, especially now after my fashion design degree, when I learnt to self draft my um, patterns. Um, I don't really always use them. Occasionally I will use a pattern still, but not always. It's more if um, I want it quick, like I can just don't have to spend the time to draft the pattern myself. I'll just use a pattern that I've got. But yeah, so mainly like to self draft my own patterns. Question number eight says, online shopping or in store? Now, I love shopping. Shopping and looking at clothes or fabric is literally my favourite thing to do. Um, so any shopping, I prefer to always do it in person and not online. I ha obviously do online shop, but I much prefer shopping physically in store. And that is definitely the same with fabrics. Like with fabric, when you buy fabrics, I really feel like you need to like feel the weight of it, look at it, how it moves. Yeah, I think that's, yes, yeah, so I definitely prefer it in shop. And um, I always love to go to like craft fairs and fabric fairs and like, oh, I love the Handmade Fair by Kirsty Allstop in London. Love going to that because it's just fabric everywhere and you can feel the fabric, you can get a sense of it, see where it's from. So yeah, I definitely prefer to shop in store over buying my fabrics online. Right, so question number nine, let me put my tea down because it's nearly done. Question number nine is my favorite sewing task. Now, my favorite sewing task is I love pattern drafting. Like I just love it, getting all my drafting materials out on paper, working out, it's like a puzzle and getting the perfect fit. So I love pattern drafting and tracing off patterns. I think that's one of my favorites. Um, I also actually just love the sewing process. I love sewing. I love sewing, sewing quickly. I just love it at my machine. Um, my not favourite tasks, I hate cutting fabric. It really annoys me. It just takes a long time. I just, it's just my least favourite thing to do. Um, and I'm not that fond of ironing and pressing, but I know how vital it is to how good your garment's going to look at, come at, at the end of it. So I always do it. But yeah, ironing's not up there either. I don't like that as much. <laughs> Number 10 is your best advice for other sewers. Now I actually rewrote this some stuff down because I think this is quite hard to just think off the top of your head. So you get my notepad and see what I wrote. So, oh yeah, one of the things I think where when you see new sewers, you kind of get a bit overwhelmed with everything that you need to learn and know or need to learn and know. Um, and my thing is kind of like, you're never going to know everything. 
like no sewers, no every single thing or every best way to do something or best way to put a zip in or best way to this. Like everyone's always learning. You're always learning new ways with different fabrics, with this, with that. So you're never ever gonna know everything. So that's my first piece of advice. And my second piece of advice is that sewing can be so frustrating and you can get so angry with it. Like I swear more with just sewing than I do in every general life because it just sometimes things just don't go to plan and that's fine and that is sewing. And But I do think when um, things go wrong, you learn more, like you know how not to do something because you spend ages unpicking it and then thinking about how to redo it. So you do learn from your mistakes and it will be frustrating. And that is just part of sewing, I think. Yeah, so those are kind of my advice, I would say from sewers. And what I would advice say, and enjoy. I think there's no point in making or sewing something that you are not interested in. If you're not interested in clothes, then don't sew clothes. If you're not interested in cushions and don't sew cushions you should always learn and really enjoy and appreciate of what you're sewing because you're going to like it at the end and you're going to be have more joy from it at the end i think so yeah so those are my best advice i think so thank you for watching my first friday sews video um i normally upload on a sunday but i'm gonna add this on as an extra on friday so that's exciting to get in on the hashtag um yeah and i can't wait to watch all the other videos that i've, that I've been watching of the people to learn a little bit more about you so that's good um yeah so i also have a sewing blog with lots of tips tricks um, and tutorials and that sort of thing so i'll leave the link to my sewing blog down in the description box i'm also on instagram so follow me over there where i show lots of pictures of my makes and progress makes and that sort of thing so yeah so i'll see you again very soon bye